Hi, my name is Jean and I'm one of the moms that helps to volunteer at the annual AMCSI conference. We're just a few days away from getting together with everybody in Norfolk, Virginia, and we're excited. So we wanted to be sure to share a few final reminders uh, about the conference for those of you that'll be there in person. So let me get started. The first thing, for those of you who are coming to Norfolk, please, if you can, print out the ticket that you received when you registered. Look through your emails. You should see something from Eventbrite. We'll be sending a reminder email 48 hours before the conference starts. So around July 1st, you should start to see more emails. Again, there'll be a PDF attachment to that reminder email, and you can download and print out that ticket. Uh, you can also have it available on a mobile device and if you bring either the printed copy or electronic version of it, we can scan it at check-in and that makes the whole process faster. But don't worry, if you can't print it out or you can't find the electronic ticket, it's okay, we can still check you in using your last name manually. It just takes a little bit longer. Remember, check-in will start on Wednesday, July 3rd at 4 p.m. in the foyer area on the fourth floor of the Hilton uh, Norfolk, the Main. If you're volunteering though, you get to check in early at 2 p.m. So if you wanna check in and beat the lines, I would suggest you consider signing up for a volunteer slot. We still have plenty of open spaces. We've built an interactive map of the area surrounding the conference site. If you haven't taken a look at it, I encourage you to do so now. There's a link in the email that went out to everybody. The map is zoomable and scalable. We put not only the conference hotel, the overflow hotels, um, but a lot of other things that we usually get asked about, including local grocery stores, pharmacies, if there's a medical emergency, where's the nearest hospital, and some other tourist destinations. So you can view that on a mobile phone as well if you like, and we encourage you to browse through the map and let us know what you think of this new feature. A big reminder for those of you staying at the Hilton, parking is not included with your room rate of $109 per night. If you plan on parking at the hotel, it will cost an additional $20 per night. We know that that's a lot of money, but unfortunately that's what the hotel is charging. There is no discount on parking for our participants. There is a city lot across the street, however, which is open for public parking, and we've been told that that will cost $10 a day. Um, if you do not plan to park at the hotel, but you're staying there, I would strongly encourage you to let them know when you check into the hotel that you are not parking there so that you don't see any parking charges added. And a warning, they have told us multiple times they expect a massive volume of visitors to come into the hotel area for fireworks for 4th of July. So we really encourage you to find a parking spot for your vehicle if you're bringing one and leave it there. If you move it, you may not be able to find parking when you come back after the 4th of July. The conference program is here. Um, and this year, based off of your feedback, we've gone digital. We've had a number of people commenting that the program was too big or too heavy or they lost it, it was expensive. Um, and so we've responded to that by doing something that was really cost effective in green and we went with an electronic program. Now that electronic program can be viewed online on any device with internet. So you can um, swipe through the pages. I'll demonstrate that now. But what I really like about it is you can even look at it on a mobile phone right there. Okay, so here's the electronic program in person. So you can flip through the program using the arrows. You can also use the slider bar along the bottom to jump forward. And one of the cool things, because we went electronic with the program, if you see a little purple icon like this next to it, that means that the presenter has already provided us with a copy of their presentation. And you can click that link and actually download a copy of their slides before you even come to conference. So as we get more copies of the materials and permissions to post, we'll be updating this electronic version. That's one of the really awesome things about going electronic with the program. There's room for you to take notes, and we've also included hyperlinks to a number of our sponsors. So for example, Angel Flight East will be joining us. You can click their name and it'll open right to their website for more information. So keep your eyes peeled when you're browsing through this electronic program for areas that are shaded or have hyperlinks, have a hand on it when you're scrolling through. One other thing, you can also zoom in further. There's a zoom bar at the top. 
You can move around on the pages and flip through. And you can still download or print out a copy of this program to take with you. You'll see icons at the very top of the program. Again, a little box with an arrow to download and a little printer icon to print. So we really hope that you like this new electronic version. As I said before, we still need volunteers. We have a lot of open slots and we cannot do this conference without your help. So we've sent out emails, we've posted on social media, I've mentioned it on videos. I'm here for one last plea. If you have an hour or two or four where you can spare some time, please sign up. There's a link included um, in the video description to sign up for particular job slots. If you've never done it before, we offer training. One of the perks of volunteering is that you actually get to check in early. And if you volunteer for four or more hours, you'll even get a free gift plus our undying <laughs> gratitude and appreciation for helping out. The volunteer jobs are not complicated. Oftentimes it's as simple as checking to make sure that people have ID cards on, um, maybe helping to carry things for some people, uh, passing out t-shirts, walking the halls just to act as an extra pair of eyes for us as part of our security team. So please, please, please take a look. The one thing to know, if you look at the online um, sign up form, if it looks full, keep scrolling down. It's usually easier to see it on a computer. There are a ton of open slots later in the conference, particularly on Friday and Saturday. And we are introducing a new component this year. A lot of our adult AMCers have asked for more opportunities to socialize. So we worked out uh, a deal with three different restaurants about a block away from the conference hotel that will offer our participants a 10% discount if you wear your AMCSI uh, name badge from the conference to their establishment. So we encourage you to take advantage of these discounts and say thank you to them for working with us. So there's a couple of different places. They are children um, friendly, so if you have kids, you can bring them too. But this is really just an opportunity to make sure that people know that the socialization and the fun doesn't have to end just because the sessions are over for the day. We encourage you to, to head on out and check out these places um, and get that discount. We get a lot of questions about this, particularly when the 4th of July happens during conference. You don't have to go anywhere. If you are going to be at the hotel for the conference, you can watch the fireworks from the hotel. In fact, the hotel is so well situated for viewing fireworks, they expect outsiders to come in to the hotel just to see the fireworks. Some of you might even be able to see it from your hotel room, depending on where you're sitting there. Um, so just a uh, heads up, you don't have to leave. You can watch it right from the hotel. And in fact, we would encourage you to stay in the hotel and not lose a parking spot if you've managed to get one because they are warning us there could be a huge volume of visitors to the area for the 4th of July. And this year, our theme for children's programming, uh, if you're new, we always have activities for the kids to do throughout the day on Thursday and Friday. Um, it's going to be a superhero theme. So you can bring your own costume if you happen to have one that your little one loves to wear, but we'll have some stuff there. And we will be doing a photo booth where you can stop and get a snapshot of your super family. So that's all the reminders I have, and I'll leave you with one last request. Be safe, be kind, and have fun. So we'll see you all in Norfolk.